XS11. This is the smallest uh, of these boats and you can see the boom is lower and there is no flybridge, there is no sport top. So the boat is sailed as more, you know, sporty solution, more like feel like monohull. It's, uh, it's like a Nautitech design. See the helm is here on the back. So very quickly we can see that, so no flybridge, the boom is lower. And on the other hand, we have a Lagoon 42 with a sport top. See, and then down there we have a Lagoon 46 with the flybridge. So very quickly, if we compare this, you can see that uh, with the flybridge, you see the seating area up there is great, but it's very hard to access the main sail and you do lose some height. You can see how high the boom is. So you lose sail area and the center of effort of the sails is much higher. I'm a big fan of uh, this, uh, see fly bridges because it's so comfortable. It's a great visibility, but yeah, it's not easy to access the main sail. Now with a 42, with the sport top, uh, I kind of like it, uh, but it's just like it's not such a nice view. So the thing I don't like is that, you know, only one or two people can sit here. The visibility is still good. It's kind of easy to access, you know, the sail. And it's very easy to see what's happening when docking because on the 46, you have those cameras, but you know, you don't really see much. So I would say this is something, you know, in between a little bit of everything. Now going to XS11, it's going to be very easy to dock this boat because you're right here. You have very good visibility docking. It's kind of easy to access, uh, see the main sail, but you know, just like as in the 42. The thing I don't like about these designs is that, see when you're here, you might miss a boat there because the visibility when sailing is not the best, but you do see the sails really well. Because like on the 42, you have to step out to see the sails or on the 46, again, you see, you have to step out of the flybridge to see. So here it's nice because, you know, it kind of feels more sporty. You can see the sails just start draining Les Sables de Lone. So these are the solar panels and you should have a solar panels in your boat. And I always say, put them if possible over the dinghy. And this is exactly the reason you see when the rain is falling, it's not going to go in your boat. And you, if you forget to put the plug out, there's just less chances that it's going to fill with the water and everything breaks. Another thing is it's going to protect your boat from the sun. So the sun goes where it should go to the solar panels and the boat is in the shade. Some people say this is not looking good. I think it's uh, very nice, especially this one is very nicely executed. Uh, there's uh, a lot of power, it has to be a couple of kilowatts. So thumbs up for this solution. I'm not sure if this is the original or aftermarket, but just you know, a good solution. So this area here, I kind of, I kind of like it. See, like my first minutes on this boat, it just seems like kind of smart. See, there is enough space. Uh, it's, it's kind of good. I kind of like it. And then again, the doors, it's still the, the same old style doors, but for some reason, it seems like it's kind of okay because you see the whole door moves just in one piece locks easily so it's very easy to maneuver this boat as like on the 450 or 46 it was kind of the struggle stepping into the boat i'm kind of pleasantly surprised there's so much volume you can see that the height it's really high it's, it's like this is the 38 footer actually and it has more space than the 46 lagoon because the roof is not down. See, like on the 46, the roof is lowered. They have all the installations here. But here, it just seems like there's nothing, which is good because you get the volume. You can put installations, you know, anywhere else. And there is less wood. See, there is still wood, but it's just uh, less. The one thing that annoyed me immediately was these sharp corners. You see, this, is, uh, this has to be protected. It's, uh, it's an easy fix, but, you know, just just and needs to be protected. Now this area seems kind of uh, big enough, just kind of, you know, smart solution. They just made so much volume out of the, you know, the smallest boat. This is the smallest of the excess. And, and when you're in here, it feels like very big volume, very bright. And, and I actually like it. I like it. And this area, see, it's big enough. Sometimes, you know, this, uh, Areas on the smaller boats are kind of, but no, this is the proper size 
uh, sitting area, so thumbs up. Here we have a small char table, it's big enough. The kitchen, it's again, it's kind of big enough. So the only thing I thought that here we're gonna have a fridge, because I like the fridges, uh, like you know, many monohulls and both they have fridge in here, it's the best fridge ever. But this is just uh, a storage, which again, it's nice. We have two fridges, one here, this is a freezer, no, again a fridge. So this is smart, you always need at least two. This is the owner's version and that means that the whole hull is just one room and on this side you have two rooms. So let's step in and I can tell you immediately I was pleasantly surprised uh, with the design. So first thing you can see, the bed goes from that side to that side. And that's what I was complaining all the time, make a bed like this so really thumbs up and I really like how they made it. It's a huge bed. This bed is much bigger than on any Lagoon 46 or 50 or 52. So it's you know, really smart. Because I always said, why would you have, you know, like those, like, like this, extended all the way down? It's useless. You just want to have a very big bed. And the volume here, so if you look at me, I'm not a skinny guy. This is, uh, this is high, wide, like in here, I feel like at least like 46 footer. This just a huge volume. So really thumbs up. And I love this bed. This bed is just big and uh, I really like how they made this. Another thing I like is the side window. So finally they make an easy solution to cover it. See so we have a window and this curtain, it actually does block the light and it's very easy to remove. It could be actually kind of cool to have something like to clip it like this. Because now you have to remove it all the way down. And this clips, you know, it's easy, but again, you just want to pull it up. So it could be done better, but anyway, it's a very simple solution. It blocks the light, so thumbs up. Because all those curtains, they just seem, you know, like to fall off. They don't work, uh, you know, very good always. So looking to this side, a lot of volume, so it's just like a typical owner's uh, place. And the, the shower is very big. So I could say like if you compare this to the bigger boat, let's say the 52. So the bed is enormous. Then this area in between is a little bit smaller, but the bathroom, it's very big. I mean, thumbs up, this is a lot of space in here. So this is a huge shower. And you can see, I can stand in here and I'm 1 meter 90 and I have a lot of headroom. So really thumbs up. This is uh, it's, very, it's a 38 footer. And they made a lot of volume. Like this is, there's a lot of space. I like it. I, I was, I'm like surprised that on this size they managed to put, uh, see, so much space. And you can see how everything is, you see, kind of curved. So they really tried to squeeze as much as volume as possible in this boat. They used every space, you know, to make it bigger, to make it wider. And I think they've done a pretty good job here. And these doors, they just slide like this, like, so like on most of the boats. So yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with uh, this. Now going uh, to the other side. So we have two cabins here and uh, one shower. You know, it's a short boat, so there's no space for, you know, two showers. So let's go backwards and immediately what I can notice is that the bed is not like this, but it's like this. So kind of a smart solution. See, so we can put this here. Okay. More. And immediately I kind of like this solution. See, it's a very small boat, but they squeezed a huge bed in there. There's not much space when you step in. I mean, there's plenty of space, but usually, you know, the lagoons will have more area. But hey, you don't really need that area, you know, because you're outside and then you're sleeping. So I think the bed should be big and this just, you know, enough to step in. So let's see the size, the length. So I'm at one meter 90. Okay, this is good, see? Like still, I am touching a little bit but I can sleep here. And there's a lot of space, you can see. This is a wide bed. 
a lot of volume I like it I really like how they squeeze this in here thumbs up this is good so now going forward we have a toilet we have a shower here so just a you now proper size you know there is enough space so when I step in again I love the height of this boat it's very high so the toilet position is good the shower is just the standard lagoon size which has always been you know good so let's see the doors okay that's kind of yeah this could be better it's kind of uh, a little bit clumsy but you know it works it's okay so now going forward this is the third cabin of this boat again you can see it's a big bed and this is like a proper cabin this is you now still a huge cabin and again you can see how well these blocks these curtains blocks the lights again i just wish there was a magnet and you could like clip see here but now you have to pull it off so a good solution but just like not executed the best oh i like this you see here we have a rope i love this this is always good because if you hit this is really good thumbs up really good so a lot of space here and again here oh this is so good this is really smart and then the doors close again we have this so like if i sum it up i'm like pleasantly surprised because this is i say lagoon well it's you know like a sporty lagoon it's excess it's not lagoon it's excess and it's this one i mean we'll see how it sells tomorrow but right now i feel like it's a lot of volume a lot of space on a small boat and uh, if i compare it to the lagoon uh, i was sailing on the 39 which is now 40 i hated that boat you know that boat was just like it it was kind of the same size it was terrible boat this is a big upgrade see like I feel good here. I'm like, uh, you know, a bigger guy, has volume, it's bright, I can sit, I don't hit anywhere. So I'm like pleasantly surprised how they made, uh, how well they made this boat. Somebody was thinking uh, really well. And then again, and then again, you can see here, these ropes, oh, this is genius. Like whoever did this should be awarded. This is really good. Now again, we have these things which always break so this you know needs an upgrade uh, it works for a while but it's just not good noted that I've had a really good solution so the only downside right now I can see are these uh, sharp corners you see here this is not gonna live long if this is also kind of a charter boat so all these sharp corners they're gonna be banged very quickly and there's not too many of them I mean it's all kind of sharp but especially here you do want to have it uh, uh, much better stopped raining so we can go outside again and this area again if you look at me I'm not a small guy there's like enough space I can walk you see normally I don't hit anywhere it's just kind of uh, it's good no complaints around here it's good So as soon as I started walking around the boat, you see, you can just feel how it feels when you step. I mean, we're gonna see outside in the ocean how stiff it is, but when I walk on this boat, it feels uh, stiff, feels good. And uh, you see, just walking, it's smart. Okay, this winch, no, here we go. Well, but it's, you know, it's a boat. So overall, you know, it's easy to walk there's nothing stupid in a way okay this people are gonna hit in here so there's like a couple spots but again hey it's a sailing boat so you do have to be careful but like generally you see when you walk squeeze here a little bit it's good no complaints here what i really like is that finally there's a rope see this used to be you know steel wires which suck but this is probably a dinam or a very good rope so it's so easy to close and doesn't do any damage now you close it here so that you know people don't fall 
in the water so really thumbs up this is good this is very good now the helms are too small but i think it's just because they fit the two small ones see because when you step here uh the wheel is here see like uh it's here it's too low the, the helm should be like here so it's uh see it's too small i have to s extend my hand here uh but they're gonna put a bigger one uh, so we'll see how it fits then right now it's just too low but i think they're gonna fix this now this is the chair so we're gonna check this tomorrow how it works uh you know it's for the chair for the you know sitting here and then on the other side it's still missing so they're gonna install it now the system for putting the boat the thing into the water is still you know just an old system it works uh it's not the best it's not the worst i kind of like you know that system that goes like zung zung that lagoon 42 uh you can see there the lagoon 42 has this is the best system ever this is the best now this is uh okay but uh yeah it's not the best selling a Nautitech 46 which is very similar i had one very big complaint and that was when you're here see when you're in a position to put the sails up i couldn't see them because the roof was like this so basically i was here trying to do something up there which doesn't work i can immediately see that somebody was doing this a little bit better because you can stand here again the buttons are it's okay i mean the buttons for the electric wind are here i mean they're well hidden but kind of i would have them here but then somebody might kick in anyway i would put them here so that i can stand here and press the button this would be the position but anyway it seems uh improvement over naughty tech 46 it's raining again uh, so thumbs up and we'll see how this works let's check the other side it should be just the same again a winch good visibility so this is a uh, thumbs up now one of the things i've been complaining for years 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 and now they finally done it look at this so we have a cleat forward there's a cleat and there's another cleat forward so that you can attach it to the mooring ball hey thumbs up i've been complaining about this one for ages finally somebody did it like this is so cool like finally like in croatia without this you won't make it anyway i can see a small problem so these things they're too short so why would you make them so short just made them from here to here so just make a protection longer might not look so well but yeah you just want to make this bigger still i haven't used the boat so maybe this is good but i think this should be you know longer but anyway thumbs up for this So going onto the roof, uh, we step here, okay, and go up. This was easy. This was very easy. Thumbs up. And you see now we can access the sail. Nothing to complain. So now let's go down. Hold my hand here. Now, yeah, you see, this is slippery and this is not slippery. And now when going down, don't step here. So you kind of have to, well, you know what it's fine for me but i think there should be a small ladder or something this is just uh, it's okay but you know somebody might fall one day so why not make a little bit better step see this is slippery and then you might not see and just slip because you have to go here it's a small detail i think it's important now looking at the mast the mast is moved forward see like on the lagoon 42 you can see the mast is moved you know a lot backwards now lagoon 46 something in between i'm just not a fan of it here you can see the mast is moved forward like it should be like any boat has so thumbs up and then again we have uh self-taking which just sucks maybe there's an option maybe there's an option like naughty tech so they put a rail here uh but uh you know it's kind of easy but doesn't work but we've talked about this in in other videos so the forward you know skipper's cabin they're kind of big i kind of like it 
Let's go in. So let's just see the size. A little bit dirty in here. But this is big enough. Hey, this is a proper skipper's cabin, you see? I can kind of stretch and it's a 38 footer. So thumbs up for execution. It was very funny that the Lagoon 450 had such a small cabin and I was really suffering all the time. The 42 Lagoon has good. Then again, the 46 has a very nice skipper's cabin. And these ones are like how they should be. And there's another one on this side. We have some sails here. Test them tomorrow. I do like this detail. You see this bench for sitting? Because that's what everybody wants to sit. This is a good place. Now, why not make it even bigger? I mean, this is good. I love it. But there could be a whole sitting area. So why there's not a seat going like this? Because this is where everybody wants to see did you have a backrest or like you could fold it up yeah maybe the next designs we have a pinon for the code zero just normal stuff around here and then when we open this we have a chain locker so let's see how they and we have a water tank so let's see how they design this it looks pretty good from here because there was a lot of trouble you see when the chain goes in it gets on one area and then just goes up but seems like there's a this might work but we'll have to check anyway it's easy to access uh, so this could be okay so like watching this boat i just have a feeling that it's a totally other designer than for the lagoon the solutions are different. It's kind of more like uh, my style. So let's yeah, open this one now. So there's a small generator. So we have a small Fisher Panda. Now, I think you could fit a bigger one because this one is not very strong. This is probably, I don't know how many kilowatts, not much, but a uh, bigger one. But then again, you know, who needs a generator? It's here. So we have another water tank. I have to check how much uh, water this boat has. So now going backwards, you see this? I mean, I don't hit when I'm used to the boats, but it just seems like somebody's gonna crash in here where very easily you could go like here. So if you put two of this, one here, one there, like you could cut this corner. It would cost a little bit more but how much is the price of the finger? Somebody's gonna hurt his leg a lot here. I feel really sorry for them. But that's how it is. There could be maybe a cover or something, but it's just like the same on the other side. Somebody's gonna lose a finger here, unfortunately. And you could cut this corner. But otherwise, you know, walking around the boat, it's good feels solid when you step down here we have this uh, can hold well yeah I'm just concerned I like the boat so far I really like it the only thing is like I don't like because you don't see you know in Croatia there's a lot of boats but then again it's a very bright boat so if we remove this down I mean it's not bad because it's a small boat. The bigger the boat, the worse it is. So it's uh, it's pretty good. A good thing of having the bathroom, see access from uh, here, is that also a skipper can use a bathroom because in front you have those two skipper uh, cabins. And then usually on the lagoon, like you don't have a toilet. I mean, you can have a cabin and a toilet, but if it's both cabins because you have a, a hostess, and there's a lot of guests so you don't get the inner cabin how to use a toilet so you have to go into the guest's cabin and the toilet is in here so this is something i really like you see now everybody can access also during the day you don't have to go you know through two doors so if you ask me this is a very good solution i think all of the lagoons should have at least one bathroom 
with two doors so that one is accessed from the cabin you know for the you know guests to use and also one here so that the skipper can use you now they kind of share it but at least uh, he doesn't have to go through their cabin when they're sleeping so this is really good uh, the Fontaine Peugeot like on the Swan 47 has a very good solution because somehow this squeeze uh, five cabins and then uh, then there's one bathroom that you can just access you know from here so we're sailing a test run there's a lot of small boats visibility is not bad you just have to pay attention because there's so many things in the boat curtains and everything see when you step in you have a better visibility but here it's very narrow there's many boats so it's smart to have another person on this side so just watching here uh, and then it's safe because one person on this side can see the half and the other person can see uh, so definitely have a crew member to help you so this seat is very good i like it it's uh it's comfortable it's big enough like uh, the naughty tech it has only one small seat and this is way better because you want to have more people sitting here and there's going to be more seats on the other side so you can have six people sitting here and actually looking forward pretty well we have now removed this screen and i can say that the visibility is better than on the nautitech so i feel much more comfortable sitting here and observing other boats than i was on nautitech and maybe because the boat is smaller but it just you know kind of feels okay so just been steering this boat and it's actually very good it just felt like you know very responsive uh, just like Nautitech uh, if you compare it to the Lagoon 42 or those big boats it's like a tank this feels way more like a monohull and that's what that's what they wanted to achieve with this uh, you know catamarans they wanted to give a more uh, direct feeling when you're sailing so you can hand steer because the Lagoons are kind of you know a tank uh, so thumbs up uh, we'll see tomorrow when we sail but so far looking good now this is a great test so there's loads of small jet skis so which means a small boat so how does it look from here so obviously flybridge wins but it's not bad from here i mean you can see them not sure how it looks on the camera it's not so bad it's quite okay now from this side obviously you can see very well but now with this screen it's a little bit dirty from the salt it does make a little bit light coming like this so you don't see well through so this should be removed yeah you can see them pretty well we have all the cells up it feels good again we're not fast but there's not much wind we have only so now it's picking up we have seven knots of touring speed six apparent we're gonna pick up some speed now we have a huge upgraded mainsail it looks beautiful also the genoa flock you know is upgraded and we have this beautiful code zero up oh, they're messing up something The new owner is learning how to sail and this is how it looks a little bit left a little bit right oh but he saves the boat anyway i really like this big main sail it looks good and this code zero and now as we have some uh, wind we're actually moving you can see we're moving pretty nicely look in the water that side So my first impression is it's really good you know because this boom is very low uh, the center of gravity is low but okay today it's very calm but it's just like you know it's a little bit smaller boat I'm usually sailing and everything is so easy to pull everything is lighter and it was so easy to set this sail also because you see the lazy jack you have just one line and one here and there's no lines in the back so it was super easy to pull it off because the buttons you know they don't get stuck and then you see on the end it opens more the lazy jack because there's no lines 
but it's really cool it's so much easier than on the bigger boats when you also have lines there so this was super super easy to open also the code zero that was really easy to unfurl you can do a lot uh, just with the hands you know by pulling we have electric winches uh, but it's uh, and it feels good i mean we are sailing there's not much wind see it's very calm today in Les Sables de Lone. sunday many boats sailing and i can say i kind of like it so far i mean we are moving see maybe it's something that i haven't been sailing for uh, over the winter a lot and it's a beautiful day you know it's a nice boat because uh, usually you see I always find some things on the boat which i don't like but no i don't know why but this boat i just I just like it just uh, feels good on this boat it's so easy to walk it's very intuitive uh, easy to raise the sails you know i don't know but kind of like it kind of like this boat so it does feel more like so on the fly bridge and when you're in the low winds it feels like you're on a pier but because now here we're closer to the water you can hear it you can feel the speed so right now i would rather be on this boat than on the lagoon 46 or lagoon 50 because like in this day you know for a couple hours sailing it's just so much fun just be here on the sun you know, it's not too hot and we can see the sails so nicely see just take a look and you know i love this mane see but boom is low it's a nice material it's upgraded one it's big surface have a code zero uh the boat you know this helm and this boat is very you know like you can feel the boat when you do something the boat moves you know not like a monohull but it's close to the monohull but it's much more responsive than any you know like uh, 46 or 50. and it just feels good you know it just right now this is uh, fun being here uh just like uh if you would take this boat out for uh, you know for the weekend for one day you would you would enjoy this even if this very low wind this is no winds we're moving we can hear the water it feels like you know we are moving it's the boat is sailing right now it's not just floating but we are moving and sailing it's good enough to be fun I'm now on the top of the roof and just like trying to compare how it feels like if this would be a flybridge flybridge you would look like this or you know standing down there so the main difference is up here it's much quieter so you don't hear everything so much it just seems like it's way calmer and the boat is way slower if you're up here but as soon as you step down there you can hear the sea much more you're in much more connection it just feels like you're faster so i would say you know it's much more enjoyable in low winds to be down there because you can just feel like uh, you know you're sailing more up here on the flybridge but it's always like been like this it just feels you know quiet slower and we have uh, only from five to seven knots of true wind speed today and we are sailing uh, so it seems like that these boats do have more sail area to weight than the just normal lagoon you know like 42 or 46 and i really like that the boom is low because in the low winds every wave you know moves the boat because there's no well, wind pressure to hold it so the sail can move now the higher you have the sail because of course you have a flybridge so the sail is under the flybridge the center of effort is higher and then the sails bang more so because now we have low boom the sail is lower you have less of this effect so it's just more fun to sail in low winds when there is uh, waves and the boat does feel like it's sailing it's not a racing boat uh, but it is sailing it's good enough it, it's fun you know it feels like uh, fun and i would always take like as we are today i would always take this boat out for a ride with friends you know just chill enjoy and that's what this boat is meant to so looking at this code zero well we should tension a little bit more the angle is wrong because we're learning how to sail but anyway just like the shape 
we've discussed a lot. This one is, you know, the shape is pretty good because it's not too deep. So you can sail kind of upwind. And then the material, you see, just looking at this, it's, uh, you know, like a fancy material. And uh, you know the one I was always telling you, it's from the Supreme Sails that uh, we use on the Lagoon 46. I still love that material because it's less fragile. So this is good, but you still kind of, you know, it's a laminate and uh, always have a bad feeling about these sails. I mean, they last, it's okay. But, uh, you know, you can have much more forgivable material, uh, which you can torture more and still keeps the shape. It's the one we have on the Lagoon 46. But anyway, this looks uh, really good. I love this code zero. I love the shape while well, we're learning. So that's why we're, you know, messing it up. Uh, but it's a beautiful day. This is a great example when you mess it up and you go straight upwind. Thank you. It's just a good example. Thank you. But this is the part of learning. You see, now the problem is if you stay upwind and you lose the speed, so now, although we're turning the rudder, see the boat, okay, we still have some speed for moving. But once you lose the speed of the boat, the rudder is not effective anymore. But this time we're lucky we had enough speed and the wind pushes us down. So you should never stop upwind, because then you lose control. And then you're left to the mercy of the wind and pushed one side or another one. Luckily the good one. But if you go on the other side, then you just have to fix up the mess you've done. But we're saved we're back on course the sails are full good job skipper this area is actually very good while sailing if you compare to 42 or 50 or other boats usually when you're here you know sitting you are here so you don't have a connection with the front so much because it's you know it doesn't have so much window it's more closed boat but on this boat you feel like you're sailing and when I look I can see forward I have much more feeling that I'm a sailor than just a passenger you know in a hotel so it's very good you see when you stand here everything is visible and these side windows they make a difference you see on the 42 and 50 this is you know you don't see through but now you have a really good visibility so even if you're just here you know sitting you have a feeling that you're sailing you know much more like being on a monohull when you can see around. So thumbs up for this, you know? And it's very bright inside. So basically wherever you go, you can be like in a connection to sailing. Now you can look forward, you can, uh, you know, wherever you go, like here, see you feel the water and you can see forward uh, very nicely. So maybe I'm gonna change my mind about this, uh, you know, steering wheels here. Uh, because I think once you get used to it, uh, safety-wise, it's just fine. I still love the flybridge, but you know, this is uh, this is maybe a thing to consider and try. And then when you know, want to know if the boat feels good, just look at this happy man. He's been smiling for the last one hour, and this is the first, uh, you know, the most important thing: is the boat good or not? So this seat. You know when you have a seat here, oh this is great, you can put your leg here. I think they nailed this seat. This is comfortable, this is like you sit here, it feels good. I just wonder what happens when it breaks. Once this breaks, it might have it kill us, and I go swimming with the sharks. Yeah, so you can fit like two or three people here, and then on the other side another two or three, and everybody feels like they're sailing, they're engaged in sailing. That's what you don't get, let's say, on the Lagoon 42. You do get on the 46 because you're on the flybridge. Uh, but, you know, this boat gives you this, like, it does give you some monohull feel. You see, and then looking forward, I mean, I can see the sails. I can see the instruments. I can feel the water. And I can see everything through, you see, because of these windows. I feel like I'm engaged in sailing, I can see other boats, it just feel like it feels uh, very good. So, you know, thumbs up. I'm really happy they didn't mess this up. I'm really, really happy because very quickly you do some stupid mistake in the design and then you don't see this and that. But this boat is, uh, they nailed it. I think this boat is worth uh, giving a try. Yeah, this is quite a good position for this screen. So we have it only on this side, but probably you can have it on the other side also. 
I'm extra maybe missing another you know uh, but this is not the boat you know this is just whatever equipment you put uh, and it's good you know so the so the pros of this is that when you're you know docking you're here see you can see you can really see this boat so this boat is really easy to maneuver not like I mean the 42 is also good but the 46 you don't see reverse you know it's very hard and you have to you know run down if there's only two person on this boat or just solo it's way easier to dock this boat than any other boat because you're here you see you can uh, drive the boat and then the rope is here you just pass it you can see everything it's easy to go across easy to move it's very easy boat to walk around it's kind of uh, kind of smart now the thing is uh, I still still love the flybridge because there's a good shade now here you have this option of uh, of this but it's never as good as flybridge flybridge wins because you have a thick fiberglass and here once the sun is on the angle you know it goes through uh, but it did seem like good you have a kind of protection from the sides also so it's a compromise you know uh, so the position of the winch and these things it's good because once you're here you're working I go from here you see you're like doing whatever you're doing you can see the sails uh, the naughty tech has this problem that uh, the roof was like this so this was under the roof and you couldn't really see the sails really well so it's much better here like it's very you know easy to do whatever you do and still watch the sails and look forward so we have this set of sail and you know i'll just show you the numbers i'm not gonna discuss it much so we have speed over ground, true wind speed, apparent wind speed, speed through water. And I'll just hold it like this a little bit and you'll figure it out. Is this boat fast? Is it slow? See, like with a parent of six knots, we're doing three, four. Yeah, we're moving. It's a small boat. It's a 38 footer. So, you know, the length of the hull does determine uh, the speed of the, you know, of the boat. So the bigger the boat, it's just faster because it's bigger, longer hulls we got a little better wind so this is the setting of the sails and these are the numbers so speed over ground through wind speed apparent wind speed speed through water i'll show the sails again so the code zero it's set pretty okay the main sail yeah, probably could be open a little bit more so it's not perfect it's not perfect set of sails but these are the numbers okay we have more wind we're reaching five knots okay finally we're getting some wind you can feel the boat is getting more alive now and this is fun i mean this boat is sailing this is definitely it was sailing with seven eight knots now with nine okay ten knots that's great yeah, now it's getting more alive, uh, the more noise from the waves. Uh, yeah, it's feeling good. This feels good. That's how it looks behind. You see the height of this engine? Uh, I mean, it's gonna hit water. And that's why I like when the dinghy is a little bit higher. Uh, so when you get in a very big rough waves, definitely propeller is gonna be in the waves. So finally, I'm driving the boat. Finally, they give me the helm. You know what? That's pretty good. You know, these helms, they're responsive. It's not like the Lagoon 42, 46. It's like naughty tech. You turn the wheel and the boat turns, just like the monohull. Not the same, but you know, close. And yeah, you turn the wheel, you see, you have a control over the boat with the, with the, with the steering wheel. And like this position I'm right now, it's actually, it's just fine. It's good. I mean, in the summer, I would like to have, you know, a roof. But now it's still cold here. Nice to be on the sun. Yeah, this wheel needs to get bigger. See when I'm standing here? 
it would be nice to have it here, but uh, they're gonna fit the bigger one. So I changed the site. Now I'm sitting here. You know, you always have to find a good position. That's one of the things you figure out very quickly what feels good. And I think this is comfortable, but you can find many good positions. And I'm not afraid of, uh, you know, not seeing through there anymore. Because it's a good visibility. You see, I can see the boats. It's, it's, it's good. I'm not afraid of hitting somebody. I can see uh, really well. It just feels good. Now again, you can see that, you know, the boat speed, it's not the highest. You see, people expect these boats to be like super fast. No, these boats are, you know, like a monohulls because it's a cruising catamarans. Uh, and that's normal, you know, these speeds, that's, you know, what you get. And it would be the same with the monohull, the cruising monohull. You get the same speed. This is the 38 feet. So the 38 feeter would just have a similar speed, you know. But it feels good. You know, when you look at the sails and you can see a big mainsail, a Code Zero, it just feels nice. The helm is responsive, it feels good sailing position is good you can feel the wind you can feel the you know the sound of the of the motion i can say i'm enjoying right now and there's been many boats that i didn't enjoy but this one for some reason maybe i just have a good day uh, but this is fun maybe i have a good company and uh, it's a beautiful day so thumbs up give a try to this boat definitely give a try to the boat a little bit more wind 30 knots the sails are all oh, now the main is a little bit more open let's take a look so now yeah, now the main is a little bit more open i mean the sails are okay not perfect we're moving pretty nicely so now let's check the numbers again So we are sailing now a little bit uh, upwind. There's not uh, around 50 knots of wind. You can see the waves. It's not too bad. So the boat, when you hit hard, so but these are not the bad conditions. Uh, but uh, so in these conditions, I'm pretty happy with the boat. It feels kind of solid. It has a little bit of that lagoon flex, you know, when it hits the wave, a little bit of vibration, but it's not too bad. Uh, then again, these are not, you know, super bad conditions. This is uh, you know, a pretty nice day. Uh, but so far, you know, I'm pretty happy with, you know, the structure of the boat. But then again, uh, we need to test it in uh, much heavier conditions. So when you go down, oh, it's pretty quiet. Now, it seems like that the furniture is not, because there's much less furniture than on a typical lagoon. It just seems like there is... Uh, Nothing is squeaking and eh, eh. it's it's a quiet so far. Again, these are not the really bad conditions, but you uh, know there is some waves. You know, I'm trying the upwind hull. Ah, everything is normal in here. Nothing is uh, squeaking, doing noises. Uh, it's okay. So now I really want to test this boat. Uh, I want to do a delivery in winter, seven meter waves, 40 knots, to see what this boat can give to us. Because so far, it's like, it's better than I was expecting. It's pretty good. <laughs> 